In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can install Nextcloud on Proxbox container and we will be using two different disks for this. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm using my production Proxbox and I'm going to create a container and I'm going to give it a ID and then I'm going to name it NC and then the root password so this is going to be the root password for the operating system and then I would like to tag it and then next I'm going to choose the template and I have Ubuntu 24.04 and I'm gonna select this one then next so this is the SSD I'm going to use for the uh, operating system and operations I'm gonna use 40 gigs and then I'm going to use one more and it's gonna be a mount point and I'm going to use uh, the hard drive for this one and I'm gonna uh, set 500 GBs and then I'm going to give the path and that's going to be this and next cloud and uh, yeah that's fine next and then i'm going to give it four cores and the memory i will assign is uh, eight gigs and the same in the swap memory hit next and then i'm going to use the LAN network and rather than DHCP, I will give it a static IP address. You can choose whatever IP you want to assign. And then in the DNS, I will use my own DNS and the Google DNS address. You can choose your own if you have a DNS server. And then I'm going to click on start after created and then hit finish. once it says task okay that means it's created and i'm gonna go ahead and click on this you can see it's installed root and the password for root i typed it wrong no it's good okay so first of all i'm going to enable ssh so i can access it using putty or any other application for that i'm going to go into SSH the configuration and then I will disable all these comments and then uh, permit root login I'm gonna say yes and then system CTL restart SSHD or it's SSH whatever and then I'm gonna go into the local machine so I have uh, a local virtual machine of Windows 10. I'm going into that one. Do not use all the screens. <sighs> and the IP address was 10.0.0.6. So yeah, it's right here. And then I'm gonna click on login, accept and save. The password for root. Okay, and then new terminal session and if I can change the size of text that will be easier for you guys to see so I'm gonna set it to 18 and let's do full screen okay so we'll do step by step first of all uh, let's let's check the disks what I mounted so this is uh, mounted as loop 4 next cloud and then uh, the actual disk is 40 gigs uh, it should be uh, I don't know why it's showing 4 gigs it should be 40 did I assign 4 or no it's it's an uh, on the loop 3 okay all right so let's update it first apt update and then apt upgrade
okay update and upgrade is completed so next step is going to be we are going to install apache 2 apt install apache 2 and it's gonna install apache 2 dash uh, dash doc and all these other dependencies and it's gonna take 61.5 mb i'm gonna type y to install this and then after that we will enable this and we will start the apache service okay. system cpl enable apache 2 and system ctl start apache 2 and then i'm going to check the status so we can verify everything step by step so step number one is done and the next step is going to be installation of uh, a database server you can install mysql but i'm going to install mariadb so apt install mariadb dash server and it's going to take 201 mb say yes and then let's pause the video recording it will take a little bit okay mariadb server is installed now we are going to create a database but before that we are going to secure our database so for that we are going to type this command mysql so it doesn't matter if you have like mariadb or mysql the command is same you're going to do mysql underscore secure underscore installation and then uh, if you have set any password if you have like uh, already available database you need to enter the password if you have nothing then hit enter for none and then uh, it's asking for unix socket authentication i'm gonna say no and if you already have your root account protected you can safely answer no but i want to change the root password so i'm going to hit enter because you can see y is capital so if i hit enter it's gonna uh, assume that i choose y so that means yes okay let's type in the password all right remove anonymous user yes and then disallow root login remotely yes and then remove test database yes and then reload privilege tables yes okay it's all done and now we are going to install php and the php dependencies so i'm just going to copy this command from my blog and i will post the blog link in the description of this video so you guys can just copy and paste okay php dependencies are installed now i'm going to create a database so you can just simply type mysql or mariadb slash u root uh, i i'm used to type mysql so that's why i'm typing this otherwise if you type mariadb it's same and then fnt and then we're going to type the password for the database and then we are going to create database which is going to be next cloud and then semicolon hit enter and then we are going to create a user which is going to be uh, I'm gonna say my name and then I'm going to say it should be in the local host because we are uh, we installed database server in the local host and then identified identified by and then the password whatever password you want to set so it enter on that one oh sorry uh, you need to type semicolon in the end okay and then uh, i'm gonna grant all all privileges on then i'm going to type the database name which is this one right here and just copy and paste and then 
dot steric that means everything to then I'm gonna say what user I'm gonna type this one this user and where that user exists on local host and then semicolon and hit, hit enter and then after that we are going to just reload everything for that you type uh, flush privileges and then exit okay so our database is configured now we are going to download the next cloud itself uh, from the next cloud website and I want to download it in the actual directory here we should have only index.html and if I go to any web browser let's say go to Firefox I don't use this much so there should be no cache not now 10.0.0.6 I think I used it already but still you can see it's the default page of Apache what uh, is showing here index.html so I'm going to download next cloud here I'm just copy and pasting the link and it should be one time w get double I think I need to fix this in the blog as well it's written twice and then after that we will unzip this and sometimes um, by default in Ubuntu server there is uh, no unzip utility so let's try unzip it's not there if I try unzip and uh, this file I don't think it's gonna work so we need to install unzip apt install unzip and then let's try again so now you can see it's unzipping everything and it shouldn't take that long what since it's done it should be in the uh, next cloud folder and now we can remove this file because we don't need it and uh, now let me try so if I type this address it's gonna still show me uh, that page index.html if I do next cloud I can see the, uh, here are a few errors like can't write into config directory and blah 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 why because we did not assign any permissions yet so I'm just gonna minimize this and I'm showing you all this so you can uh, like understand uh, if you see this kind of error what's the fix what you missed and uh, when there is like permission kind of issues that means the folder itself has no permission so let me show you here if you see this folder is under root and root uh, directory is not allowed for everybody so I'm gonna first change the ownership so chown means change ownership hyphen r means everything recursive like everything in that folder including that folder uh, will be changed to uh, uh, will change the ownership so I'm going to assign this www data this is a default user for a web kind of stuff you can say so I'm going to set this user and this group to var www html and next cloud and then I'm going to change mode recursively 755 and if you want to know what is 755 I have a complete video on my channel for permissions and all that stuff you can watch that and you will understand what that uh, actually means or otherwise there is uh, some calculators as well uh, online available to set your permission and you can see what exactly 755 means okay and then uh, it's ER HTML and next cloud okay so our permissions are all set and there should be a few dependencies we need to update but still it should show this page so that means we are good now and we can install or uh, we can create our first uh, user so so far we are all good for installation but there are like more changes I will discuss uh, in this video as well so 
uh, next thing what I'm going to do is enable few of the dependencies so I'm just copying and pasting the, uh, the command so this is for Apache 2 enable mode rewrite headers env dir mime and hit enter and after that we are going to restart this and we are all set for the installation process of next cloud and the last step i'm going to create an admin user and then i will show you how you can uh, choose a different directory to create stuff so here let me show you uh, as I mounted one disk for 500 GB, you can see here, and it is uh, MNT. So I'm going to create another folder in that one. So let's go into MNT PVE backups, next cloud, and uh, I'm gonna create a folder, let's say MKDIR uh, files, and you can see the folder is here but the permissions are still under root so i'm going to change first the ownership to www data and group same to files and then uh, change mode the same thing i did on the other side that's it we are all done so uh, let's go back here and then i'm going to create admin user and then I'm gonna give it a name and here you can see it's already mentioned here but I don't want to use this one because I am going to use 500 GB space not the 40 GB uh, for my files and other stuff so I'm gonna type here uh, the location that was mnt pve backups dash next cloud dash files if we go back to see mnt pve backups next cloud and the files what we just created so looks good and we are using mariadb so i'm gonna check this one and database account so i created account under my name and i set the password as password really simple and then the database name was next cloud and we are using localhost so i'm gonna just uh, leave it as it is and then click on install well never mind there was no error it was like loading and uh, i was just rushing <laughs> okay so it's installed and now it's gonna show me all the stuff like you can do blah 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 share on this this and uh, customize i don't want to customize for now so the main purpose of using this for me is to like uh, use the file share server and other than that it has like so many things and one thing i want to show you uh, let's click on new now you can see i'm just able to click a new text file or any uh, like folder and that's it but I'm gonna do some modification in one of my next videos so I will be able to open uh, like office files uh, like Excel files, spreadsheet or docs in this next cloud. So just let me know in the comments uh, like did you guys already know about next cloud or you learned something new. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.